Hello and welcome back to another video where I will be showing you guys how to completely remove Microsoft Edge from your computer. Whether you're running Windows 10 or 11, the process will be the same. Before we start, let me show you guys that we do have Microsoft Edge installed in this computer. You can see it there on the desktop. And then if we go to the control panel and the programs that we have installed, we also have Microsoft Edge here. Uh, and then the web view to runtime, which will also remove. And of course, we can't remove it this way if we click on change. You can see here that it's only telling us to repair and the way to do this is or it will be via a clickable script and i'll show you guys how to create this script and i'll also go over basically what this script means so um and how to create this script so to create the script basically all you have to do is and this script will be in the uh, description down below we copy the script you paste it into a notepad and then you save it as whatever name you want to give it, um, remove edge, you can give it any name you'd like, just keep in mind that you have to put dot BAT and then you save it. And then it creates it for you basically. So you can save it to your desktop, you can save it to your documents folder, it doesn't matter where you save it. Just remember that when you're ready to run it, right click, run it as an administrator. So let's go ahead and actually go into what the script means. Now the echo, um, echo stopping Microsoft Edge process that simply just means it's it's echoing a message for you that displays um, the next thing here is task kill so basically if you wanted to end the task and you open up task manager and let's say we wanted to end the task manager right or notepad in this case we can do it manually by going to end task and that will close the application or the, the, the process for you and let me go ahead and open this back up go through the rest of the command so task kill f means slash f means forcefully terminating that process what that process is is microsoft edge um, and then slash t simply means terminating the specified process and also any child processes started by microsoft edge echo uninstall again just uh, displaying a message for you and this this script is via powershell and the command that we're given it's three different commands here git appx package is simply um, means it's invoking or sorry getting information about uh, an app package um, which in this case it will be microsoft edge here for all users so even if your uh, computer has one profile you don't have to worry about changing this but if your computer has multiple profiles that's what this means it's for all users and then the Microsoft Edge, and then the second command, which is here, is Microsoft Edge uh, Shell Experience uh, host, and then the last one, which is stable. And then the very last one, which is on all three commands here for the PowerShell command, error action, silently continue. It just suppresses any error messages. The next thing we have here, again, it's echoing, uh, displaying a message for you. RMDIR means remove directory. And what those directories are um, is simply this, which I'll go over with where these are, or how you basically access the, these directories. Slash S is it removes the specified directory, which is what we specify here, and also any subdirectories within that directory. Uh, slash uh, Q uh, is, is doing it in quiet mode, so it, it won't ask for confirmation to delete these. That's what slash Q means. And then the last thing here is uh, echoing again, another message for you and then shut down slash r which is restart and then slash t is restarting within a specific time which is five second here and i will actually change this for this video to 20 seconds so that way i have time to stop the recording before the computer restarts and then start recording again when the computer restarts so i'm just going to go ahead and click Control s to save this uh, and i did save it for microsoft edge so i have to make sure i run that let me just delete this copy of it so let's go ahead and run this basically to run it we do uh, right click on it run as an administrator and we'll click yes and it's basically doing that so it's telling us error the process could not be found for microsoft edge meaning i don't have microsoft edge open in the background it's removing uh folders if something is not there that's fine i have 20 seconds so i will go ahead and stop the recording and then we'll pick up where we left off all right guys, so the computer restarted and of course, as you can see, Microsoft Edge is still here, but if we go into our control panel and we go to uninstall program, you'll notice that Microsoft Edge no longer has an icon. 
Now, the next step to do that you need to do is go open file explorer, go to your local C drive, navigate to program files x86, 64 bit, and then you'll notice a Microsoft folder there. If we open this up, you'll see everything here related to Edge. If we delete this, and we need to delete this, it will tell us to continue that it needs to provide, you, you need to provide administrator permission to delete this folder forever. Uh, click continue. If it does not delete where it tells you that the action can be completed because the folder or file is open in another program, that's fine. That means because Microsoft Edge is open somewhere in the background. So what we'll need to do is open task manager and just search for micro, anything related to Microsoft Edge. So if I, put, if I type on my keyboard MIC, it will take me to Microsoft Edge here, which I will end. And I can close this and delete it now. And as you can see, the folder is completely removed. So if you receive that message where it tells you try again, make sure that you end any task, any process basically that's related to Microsoft Edge. Now, of course, this is still here, but I no longer need this. I will go ahead and delete this if it's on your desktop. And of course, if we search for it, we can still see it there. But let's go into Control Panel, Uninstall Program. And now you can see that Microsoft Edge and Microsoft Edge Web View 2 runtime is no longer there. Now, what we need to do is finally to completely remove them from here is click on it, click Change and then you will be provided with this error message. An error occurred while trying to uninstall Microsoft Edge. It may have already been uninstalled. Would you like to remove it from the programs and features list? We'll click yes, and it will be gone. If I refresh, where's my refresh button? And then we'll do the same thing for Edge Web View to runtime. Yes. And it won't be removed until you won't, you won't actually see it gone until you refresh. And now it's gone. Now if I close this and I search Microsoft Edge and I open it, it's telling me that the shortcut has been changed or removed and uh, you want to delete the shortcut. So even though we search for it, it may seem like that the Microsoft Edge application is or the browser is still installed on our machine. All we have to do is when we click it, delete the shortcut. And now if we search for it, it's it's uh, it may need another restart, but if we search for it after the restart or give it a few seconds, as you can see, it's no longer coming up. So very quick and easy. I will go ahead and post this command, um, this script basically in the description. All you have to do is simply just copy it, uh, put it in a notepad, as I showed you guys. Save it as a dot bat. Run it as an administrator. Follow the other steps that I provided and Microsoft Edge will be completely removed from your computer. I hope this was very helpful. Uh, if you guys have any questions, put them in the comments below. Uh, please make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, share, and see you guys on the next one.